Resident Evil 3 starts 24 hours before the events of Resident Evil 2, when Raccoon City is being overtaken by zombies, thanks to the T-Virus. And we are shown some footage of the riots in the city. Then there is this dude. He talks like a car salesman who is about to sell you some old shitty Toyota Corolla, while in a lab some scientists are pumping up Nemi with vitamin C. Finally it starts kicking in, and that's basically the intro of Resident Evil 3. The story follows the main protagonist, Jill Valentine, one of the last members of the original Stars team. She will be pursued by Nemesis through the entire game, starting from the very first minute. Navigating her out of her apartment, she meets Brad, who is the most useless Stars member I can think of. He dies in like 2 seconds, and Jill follows a helicopter to escape the area, but Nemesis says no to that, and Jill is like, okay, let's run this guy over. Actually, I should have stayed in that container. No problem, Carlos saves our asses and is about to show us his team, the UBCS, and their shelter. His team consists four more people, Mihail, Tyrell, Nikolai Genoviev, and the guy who is bleeding out. No, 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 wait, please. Well, it's only three more then. There are planes to use the subway to evac citizens, and Jill is asked to help with reactivating the power supply, which doesn't sound too bad at first, until we see all the weird shit we have to go through. Some of them looks kinda familiar though, must have been some anime. So after the fifth time we get interrupted by Nemi, we can eventually depart on the train with Mikhail and Nikolai. The journey doesn't last long, because the stowaway starts killing all the survivors, then Nikolai betrays us, and Mihail derails the train. Until Jill regains consciousness, we follow Carlos and Tyrell to the RPD to contact an umbrella researcher called Bard. He's hiding somewhere in a hospital playing CSGO. You can either sit there with your dick in your head. So Carlos leaves the station, looking after him. Switching back to Jill, she survived the train crash because of the plot armor and goes straight to the clock tower to fight Nemi again, who looks shittier after every encounter. In the end, it stabs Jill with a spike infecting her with the T-virus. She passes out until Carlos finds and takes her to the hospital, where Bard is already dead, because Umbrella is destroying all the evidence connecting them to the T-virus, and he also cheated in matchmaking. Thank god Umbrella sucks at everything, leaving a vaccine sample just for Jill. Nice! Administering it to Jill, Carlos waits until Tyrell arrives with some bad news. The city is getting nuked in a day. Upon hearing this, Carlos has to the underground lab to obtain some of the stockpile vaccines that Bard was talking about. Bowsy motherfucker. Fast forward a couple of hours, Jill wakes up and tries to catch up with Carlos ASAP. T informs us that the US government is willing to call off the airstrike if we can deliver the vaccine to them. Too bad Deji, I mean T dies to the budget Xenomorph lookalike. But don't worry, Jill synthesizes the vaccine, but unfortunately loses it to Nikolai. But at least we learn his motifs. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dart. Okay, I pretend I didn't hear this bullshit. So Gia fights nemesis in this arena until Carlos comes to help. Jill, is that you? No, it's your mother, Carlos. Who the hell could it be, you goddamn idiot? Well, they somehow managed to beat nemesis, but did it really die this time? Of course not. But using this ridiculously long railgun, we take him down once and for all. Next time, take the fucking hit! Did you hear that? Nemi, the simp. Going up to the surface, Carlos is found passed out, and Nikolai beats Jill with some Tekken moves, <laughs> then destroys the vaccine. No! Until Carlos wakes up and gets beaten as well, then somehow he comes out on top and starts strangling Nikolai. Jill has to make the shot. If she misses, Nikolai finishes both of them. No! Jeez, what was that Mortal Kombat shit? If she doesn't miss, well, Nikolai would snitch on his client in exchange for his life. Too bad no one gives a fuck about your shady employer, bro. Jill and Carlos leaves with the helicopter, but Raccoon City turns into ashes and Jill sums it all up. Everything was caused by human greed. It's greed. Human. Oh god, this ending sucked.